Hey, what's up? So let's continue by talking about the selectors that got generated from our entity adapter. So they all live inside a function or they get returned from a function called get selectors and this will return to you a bunch of uh, predefined selectors. They are dynamic. So we will see how we can use them. So first thing I will call this variable comments selectors and I will destruct from it a bunch of selectors. So first thing I will just spot like this. Then I will get the select IDs, select by ID, select total, select entities, select all. So very nice. So select IDs, this will return the array of IDs. Select entities, this will return these entities, as you can see. And I hope you know that, but this is called normalized state. So if you actually go normalized state, Redux toolkit. I actually have a video in, the, in my YouTube channel about this. I will show it to you. I will put a link in the description, sorry for it. But uh, I'm just explaining why we need this. So I think I did not say that, but this series is just a follow-up in a previous series that I did. So that's why maybe some things will be a little bit fast. So yeah, select entities will just return these. Now select by ID, you will give it an ID and it will return that ID for you or that entity for that ID for you. And total will return to you how much entities we have. Select all, it will return to you everything. And this is actually very interesting. We will use that. But before these won't work uh, out of the box because uh, you need to pass here a function. So you need to pass the correct slice that these selectors should work on. So, and this should be a callback function. So this is the state, this is the whole Redux state. We have everything. And this will work on the comments slice. And why, where I, why I typed here comments? Because I named it here comments in our store. So these selectors will work on the comments slice. Maybe an, a better way to export these is just to export it like this. Maybe this will make much more sense. So every selector that generate, got generated from the get selectors function will work on the comments slice in the state. I think that's very important to realize. Now let's go to our comments and let's import the use selector from the React Redux and from our slice, let's import the comments selector. And now I will have a variable called total use selector and I will pass to it the select total and another one called uh, all comments this will have select all and let me console log them there is very cool trick that I usually do I will console log an object the key will be total and value total and all comments all comments this will make uh, looking at the console much more easier and especially when you have so many console logs, but you can actually make it shorter since they both have the same like token You can remove it like this These are equivalent So let's go to the console hit refresh as the first render we have total zero and all comments are in the array because The request have not been finished yet Now we have a total of 10, but the something that is interesting the all comments are there so as you can see we have uh, every object, as you can see. And this is different from the way we store them in the Redux. As you can see, we are storing the entities as an ID for the entity, then the entity itself. But when we use the select all selector, we will get them as an array, as an array, which is very nice. So what we will do now, we will just loop over this and uh, display a list of comments. But maybe before that, I will show you a bunch of other selectors. Maybe select by ID. I have never used it, but I think, yeah. You know, I have never used it actually. Let me see how we can use it. I think it's interesting. Okay. Let's just see the documentation. I think it's very good thing that you read the documentation. So given the state and an entity ID returns the entity D or undefined. Hmm. 
Yeah, so it's something like this. So let's try to use it. So we'll give it the state. And so this is all the selectors gets the same uh, arguments. It's the state itself, the whole Redux state. Then you can do anything you want. So I will use the comments selector, then select by ID, and I'll pass with five. Or no, you need to pass the state, then the ID. And let's just say comment with ID five. And let's just put that here. We should, this should work. Yeah, I believe it should work. As first time it's undefined, then uh, here it is, the ID five. So yeah, I think that's very nice. Maybe that's uh, the hardest one to use, but everything else is uh, straightforward. If you need the IDs or entities, they are also there. But usually you will use the select all. Uh, that's in my experience. Maybe the total as well to display it somewhere. So let's move all of that. And in our comments, we will just loop over that dot map and just render a, a comment component. So I'll create a folder called components. And inside of it, component, uh, sorry, comment. So, so this will accept a, a comment and comment will be of type prop sorry prop types dot object dot is required maybe we'll define that using shape but uh, that will do it for now and uh, so let's import it here port comment from components then comment and for each comment i have i'll just map it to a, a component called comment just hold it in here maybe the comment dot id like this but of course since you are looping we need to use a key this will be the comment and that will be here of course dot id now i'll pass the comment as it is so let's go and test it so yeah as you can see here they are and we don't have any errors in the console now I think we will end this video by just creating a simple card component. And since I am using React suit, uh, it's very awesome. So let's go. I think they have panel, not card. Yeah, it's a panel. Let's take this one. And let's import this. So import from our suit. A panel paragraph. What is this? I don't think I need it. Text? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, header will be let's see our data. We have body. Okay, so here I will put comment body and we have name. I'll put it as the header. So, comment dot name I think this will look messy this is slow not sure why but uh, do I have errors here maybe still combining maybe because I imported stuff from here from a react suit let's just wait but I think you got the idea. You can just maybe skip to the next video. I'm just creating here uh, a simple. Uh, yeah, that that will do it. Maybe. Do I do they have a box component? No. You know the box component from Material UI. It's very nice. Uh, I'll just give it a style. Mar or yeah, margin twenty. Yeah, I think that that will do it. Maybe we can put at the end a uh, button, two buttons maybe. Do we have like panel action? No, it doesn't matter. So button, end a button, two one. Maybe delete patch. Huh. 
<laughs> I know it's stupid, but I will just put a PR here. But uh, yeah, it's really. I think yeah. I will just you, you can skip the video. I'm just gonna do that. Group button. Where is the buttons? I'm just gonna style this here. Uh, I think they have group. Yeah, this one. Vertical? No. I'll just use these. Let's check how this will look. No, I think it's fine. So let's just give it a style with margin top, maybe 10 pixels. Okay, now let's just change the colors and that will be it. I think they have. I like their documentation. I think it's uh, very easy to use, really easy. So color red for delete. And let's, let's have them all large. Like this. This will be delete and this color will be for match. And I think that's it. Yeah. So now we maybe we can activate these and I'll show it to you. Okay, bye.